Hi guys, we are out in Desert Sage. I'll just kind of give you a panorama of all the homes that are in this neighborhood. This entire neighborhood is about a year old, if that. So I'll uh, hopefully give you a good idea of the size and the space of this home. It's got a two plus RV. My truck fits in the driveway beautifully. It has a nice modern look on the exterior. There's a little bit of grass on the front. And the rest of the street just kind of goes off into the desert. I will have to send you an exact GPS pin because I was off on the community by about a mile when I originally told you where it was, but it's pretty close. This home has beautiful curb appeal. Let's head inside and see what it has to offer. Sean will help us put things in perspective. It's easier to have a person in frame to kind of get an idea. Hey guys. So as you enter, uh, there is LVP flooring throughout. And right off to the left of this hallway, there is a bathroom and a bedroom. It's a full size bath. It's a nice, Vanity with darker wood. White countertop and toilet. Standard shower. This is the first bedroom. It's a really good size. It has a walk-in closet. Will you demo the walk-in closet for us, please? It's a pretty good size. Okay. So as we head back out into the hallway, this is the third bedroom, den, slash office. So this is ultimately the opening that may need an extra doorway. So that would be your two bedrooms on this side of the house. It does not currently have a closet. It's a pretty big wide room, so you could potentially build something in. It just has a window and a nice large opening for, maybe for like a French door. This room does have carpet. Then right off this room to your left is a pretty big closet. I'd say a linen closet, but it's a full on like walk-in, like a coat closet. Mm -hmm. Right across from this closet is, it's like a little mud room that has the door that takes to the garage, but we'll check that out in just a minute. You can add like the, the bench. Yeah. And this is your laundry room. It's a good sized laundry room. Has some counter space across from the washer and dryer. And it looks like all of your cables terminate right there as well. And it is plumbed for an electrical uh, dryer. Let's check out the living room. The living room has nice and open concept. There's tray ceilings over the living area. Yeah, so there's a couple of caps uh, and this is kind of how Salisbury does things where you could add on your own light fixtures. So there's uh, these three spots are 
pre-wired for lights and then you could install lights of your choice. Nice gray cabinets and it looks like manufactured stone for the countertop. The size of the center island is nice and large. It has a nice large farmhouse sink. gas stove, Frigidaire appliances, and these do not come with a fridge. There's an opening for your fridge with water, and this property also has a good sized pantry. Actually goes around the corner, wow. Yeah, it's a really large pantry. Give you guys another view from this corner your living space and let's head over to the master suite and look at these views I don't know if you can actually see the views I was talking about it's getting dark outside so currently uh, there's the Pine Valley Mountain right behind that house there are a couple of lots, so I think eventually you will have a rear neighbor. Um, I would say, unfortunately, you know, these views are not forever views, but while the neighborhood is being built out, it's a pretty sweet lot. Master suite is a really good size. I would imagine you could fit uh, a king size bed in here comfortably and maybe a couple of dressers. Master bath has some pretty cool tile on the floor. A double vanity with a nice large mirror. Nice walk-in closet. It's a pretty good size. A designated water closet. Nice large walk-in shower with a little bench. Let's go out back and check out the backyard. Hopefully there's still enough light outside to actually see what we're doing. We've been back to back in appointments today and this was our first opportunity to swing by here today. So there's a little patio. Oh, the blinds are built in right here. Oh yeah, the back patio door has some built in blinds. Ooh. There's a little lizard sitting on the wall. I don't know. No, no it's not. <laughs> We're both blind. So the backyard is not overwhelmingly large, but it's got plenty of room. So your back wall is all finished. And then you may be able to come in with some form of a gate right here on a side. And there are a couple more lots back here so eventually you'll uh, have a rear neighbor but for now you get some pretty cool views this side of the house is much taller because of the RV garage and there's a man door that takes you out into the backyard this area so from the back of the wall to um, the back of the house you're probably looking at about 10 10, 12 feet. And then this side of the house, it's all fully landscaped. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, the side walls are nice and tall, so you get some nice privacy. And then this is your side wall with your side neighbor. 
It is pre-wired for satellite, so all of your cables terminate up there. Let's head back inside and go check out the most exciting part of the house for me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's go see the garage. This has some of the staging furniture in there because that used to be a model. So there's your two car bay, your water heater and water softener goes here. It's pre-plumbed with the water softener bypass right there. So the two car side is nice and wide and the RV is quite large. Uh, so you've got all kinds of room over here. And of course it's super tall. Just kind of walk around to give you guys the idea of perspective. Is that a clean out? Looks like they've installed a clean out for the RV also. So you do have the clean out, but I don't see any 30 or 50 amp power. I'm sure they could run it in. I just don't see it already installed unless it's hiding somewhere behind these cans. I could find out for sure. Give you guys another view on the way back to the house. So you kind of get to see it. You know, that's the way you would probably normally enter your house. Looks like it has a Wi-Fi um, enabled garage door opener already pre-installed. This is the little mud room and then it takes you straight into your kitchen and living room. That concludes our tour. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And I'll talk to you guys soon.